Hello, hello, hello! What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again with another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. It is just about time for a brand new month in the game. Of course, it's already April, so it is a new month, but it's just about time for a brand new month in the game, which of course means new event quests, side quests, um, you know, new champion reworks, updates, bug fixes, new features, all that good stuff. So, of course, that means we've got our update coming. Uh, presumably on Monday, it seems to be the current trend, and with that, we have patch notes, release notes to talk about, so that is what we are doing here today, going to do a full breakdown of 30.2, um, just a quick reminder, of course, I get this information early as being a member of the CCP, the Content Creator Program, and I started this yesterday, I want to kind of keep doing it moving forward for these CCP videos, uh, I want to start premiering them more often. Well, pretty much all the time, but I want to start premiering them basically. You know, it just gives me a chance to chat with you all, hang out, answer any questions you may have about the update and, you know, side quest information and things like that. So if you want to see me keep doing these premieres, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. All that stuff really helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. And it gets you the information that much quicker. So shout out to everybody hanging out right now during the premiere let's dive into this it's going to be a slightly shorter version than normal just because of the separate video yesterday which i'll talk about in a sec but also just because things got leaked more or just got confirmed early more this month for whatever reason so yes in case you missed it clash of contests this month is going to be a a sort of tie-in with marvel realm of champions and as pretty much already confirmed, and like I said, leaked early, for whatever reason this time around, the two new champions this month are going to be Jabari Panther and Silver Centurion. I think that's how you say it. That's what I was trying to focus on yesterday. So it just feels right. I believe it's Centurion, you know, like Century. But uh, if I'm saying it incorrectly, feel free to correct me down in the comments below. I will absolutely take that criticism because... It'll help me moving forward. But yeah, so Jabari Panther is going to be skill. Silver Centurion is going to be tech. Again, these are Marvel Realm of Champions. Champions. Um, it's Like I said, it's a crossover with them. Um, kind of the, the, the overall theme this month, for the most part, between that and the side quest is definitely tied in with uh, Marvel Realm of Champions, with the different houses and things like that. So no information on them coming out just yet. The Champion Spotlight should be released soon. Um, so can't talk too much. Well, can't talk at all about their kits or anything like that. So be on the lookout very, very soon. Um, yeah, that's going to be the two champions for next month. Um, a big announcement for next month as well. Of course, we have the side quest. We'll talk about that in a second. Actually, we'll talk about that right now. I forgot the order of the P of the slides here in the PDF, but not really going to go too much into it just because uh, in case you missed it, the side quest info came out yesterday. I did a full breakdown video on it. Uh, it should be popping up in the corner right now. Definitely check it out if you have any questions about it or if you just want to learn more about it. It looks a lot more straightforward than the last couple of months. The real quick version is going to have a daily objective pop up every day. You complete it. You get a key. Use that key to go into the, the quest. And you'll have up to seven fights plus a boss. Up to you how many of those fights you want to do. Uh, the more you do, the more rewards you get, which is totally um, random. And that's it. That's that's the whole event. So, yeah, like I said, definitely check out that video if you want some more detailed information. However, that is not the only bit of side quests um, that is being released next month, although this is technically more endgame content, of course. But I am happy to announce that, yes, next month we are it was kind of a little bit quicker than expected, at least in my personal opinion. But... Variant 7 is coming next month, back issues number 7, uh, this time featuring the classic quest Arachnid Action, so, you know, you've got uh, probably a lot of Spider-Verse related things, some Miles, Morala Miles Morales, excuse me, related things. Um, that'll be coming up. You can see new global effects in these quests will limit the output of all except hero champions while also increasing ability accuracy for each hero on the summoner's active team. Um, we haven't had any sort of post on this yet, so I don't have any information to share. I don't have a release date either, 
but typically these tend to be released in the back half of the month. They're not usually in the first week or two, so I would assume sometime this week ahead we should at least see the release date. But yeah, I would assume probably the third or fourth Wednesday of the month. Probably the third, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, additionally, each chapter will have class-based champion requirements with paths designed to both challenge and benefit the champions required to enter. So, very excited. I personally still need to roll on uh, variant six, so clearly it's time for me to step it up um another part that was part of the initial leaks um uh, so kind of not really confirmed people have been talking about for a while of course the champions that are going to be buffed reworked etc etc next month well this month next update i should say and i am happy to confirm that we have three champions that are receiving an upgrade howard the duck crossbones and nova so check those out um, champion spotlight should be coming out pretty much as this video is live um, i'm sure other ccp members are doing their own videos and posts and things like that so definitely check them out um shout out to virgil shout out to virgil yes i knew about this when i pulled howard the duck from the first six star featured uh what was that last week or so so Needless to say, I am excited for that update. But again, Crossbones, Nova, definitely check them all out. Um, one feature that I'm also excited about, I've not had a chance to test this out, but uh, you may have kind of seen, and some people did see, um, a, a snippet of this during the, the side quest video yesterday. Let me see if I can pull it up here really quickly. I'm assuming this is how it's going to look, but there you go. Brand new upgrade or tuning or whatever you want to call it to the autoplay feature. And it looks like, you know, boosts and exit. Um, the UI is getting a little bit of an upgrade as well. I'm, like I said, I'm eager to see it um, when it officially goes live. But for the auto fight update, it will now take over more of the heavy lifting and move you forward on the quest map in addition to handling the fight for you. That is going to be super nice. Um, especially when you're like not able to focus on the game that much. You know, auto fighting like easy content or something like that. It'll be great to have it move for you. Whenever you have to decide between two paths, you will have to make your choice manually, so that's good at least. At least it's not just auto-picking a path, but yeah, that's going to be a great update. I'm very excited to see that. And then lastly, we get into bug fixes and improvements. I'm not going to go through all of these. Again, check out the, the official post, which will be in the description down below. Um, or of course, you know, I'll just kind of leave it up here for a few seconds or so. Um, just kind of scanning. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of description updates, which are always good. You know, clarify. Clarification is better. Um, um, Agent Venom's updated special one and special two to ensure the correct tagging on all hits, which is good. Uh, Civil Warrior, that is a good one where the special two would whiff if you're intercepting. That kind of stuff is always appreciated. Um, uh, Doc Ock getting an upgrade of sorts, more of an update to his heal block to allow it to interact with more areas of the game, such as the Infectious Wrath buff, so that stuff like that is always great. Um, just making sure that, you know, abilities are keeping up with the new nodes and things like that. Um, issues with synergies. What was the one? Oh, Omega Red fixed an issue where Death Field Degen would not deal the correct damage when Spore Count increased and now interacts correctly with Abomination Immortal and Spider Ham's abilities. Again, stuff like that. Always great to see. Um, and again, lots of, you know, updated info, updated descriptions, and things like that. Nothing major that I'm seeing in here, but uh, certainly all stuff that is very helpful. And that's it. So we've got Marvel Realm of Champions crossover. Um, interested to see what people are thinking about the new champions after their information goes live. I know it's been a topic of debate ever since the leaks were first coming out. But uh, needless to say, like I said, I'm, I'm curious to see what people will think once the, the champs actually go live, once their abilities and kits actually go live, things like that. Side quest looks very straightforward. Um, again, it's still a daily thing, but you know, you don't have to do it every single day. You can let it build up variant seven, always great to see variant content coming out. So, so I'm definitely excited to see more information on that. Um, yeah, Howard crossbones, Nova getting updates, this auto fight update is looking great. I'm very excited for that. And, uh, yeah, all these bug fixes. So there we go. Let me know what you think about this new update coming. Like I said, I would presume on Monday. Uh, put all that stuff down in the comments below. And like I said earlier, like, subscribe, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Shout out to everyone hanging out during the premiere. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I will see you next time.